I just saw this uh, UFO video on YouTube and I thought it might be a, a nice little distraction from all the coronavirus stuff that's going on to uh, investigate uh, this video. Now, the video shows like kind of a white dot up in the sky and there's people talking in, uh, in Polish because it's in, uh, in Krakow in Poland. And uh, they zoom in, you see it's kind of this blurry white dot, looks kind of weird. But what it probably is, is a, uh, a plane. Planes often look like uh, white capsule shapes, kind of like Tic Tacs, uh, because you can't see the wings often because they're a different color from the fuselage and because of the way the sun hits them. Anyway, it's probably a plane. And what we can do is we can try to track down this plane in Flight Radar 24. And that's what I'm going to try to do now in a kind of semi-live way. And uh, so you can see how it is done. Now, with any of this type of UFO video where you want to track it down in Flight Radar 24, you need three things. You need to know uh, when the video was taken so that you can do the replay in Flight Radar 24 and go back and see what planes were there at that time. You need to know where the video was taken, obviously, because uh, if you don't know where it is, you'll just be blindly looking. So here we actually know that it was uh, taken at 5.26 p.m. local time, 5th of March, 2020. And we've got this uh, GPS coordinates, which is great. So we've got like uh, pretty much everything we need here. One final thing you need is uh, it's quite useful to know what direction they're looking in. And here it's a little bit, uh, a little bit hard to say. It doesn't actually talk about the direction uh, in the video. Uh, you can kind of see it in, uh, you can see these buildings here. Now, this, this is quite useful because, because we have the GPS coordinates, we could actually go to this location in uh, Google Earth and we can see where you will be standing relative to this building and it gives you an idea of what uh, rough direction they are looking in. You can sometimes tell this from the sunlight, but here it's, it's a blue, blue sky, but there aren't really any shadows. So it's kind of hard to say. I would kind of guess if I had to that uh, this was roughly south to the left, and uh, which would mean we'd be looking kind of westerly at this point, but not clear where this is relative to this this video. So um, I'm going to guess kind of southwest, but uh, let's go back to here. Let's try loading this up in uh, flight in uh, Google Earth. Let's see, get a good picture. All right, so let's take this coordinates here. Load up Google Earth. Okay, and I can just stick in the coordinates like this and it should pop us right there. Sometimes you need to change the sign of things. Oh, that, that, this looks good. All right, so we're actually in a nice location with uh, 3D buildings. So it seems like he's standing in the street here, or perhaps uh, near one of these, these buildings. Let's uh, have a look at this. It's, it's this kind of orangey building here. And there was a better shot of that. Let's see where I can find that. So here's a better shot from the video. This is what I should have been looking at. Uh, you see, we've got this orange house here with a peaked roof. We've got this house here with, uh, I guess, are these called gable windows? I'm not sure. A couple of chimneys, and then we've got this orange house with uh, three windows off to the side. And uh, that should actually be re relatively easy to track down with all three buildings, if we can see that. Let's look from from the sky here. We want what are, it's a red building with a peaked roof. Doesn't sound too complicated red-sided building with a peaked roof somewhere around here. Hmm. Are there any red-sided buildings? There's one with a peaked roof, but it's not red. Okay, this is, I believe it, right here. Yeah, 
All right, so here, here we are. This is, yeah, there's the house. And here's the house in the video. So we found the location. <laughs> it took a little bit longer than normal, which isn't exactly exactly where he said it was. Uh, I'm going to drop a pin here. And yep, drop a pin. And I'm going to call it Krakow UFO. Uh, Right, and I'm just going to, so he's going to be looking, yeah, so it's looking straight in that direction. So we can, that is northwest, no, northeast, he's looking northeast. All right, so <laughs> took a while, but now we know what we are doing. So he's actually here. And his GPS was just down the street a little bit here. And it's a little confusing because what he was looking at was the backside of these houses. So he's looking over here to the northwest. And if I straighten this out, he is actually looking, yeah, yeah, north, northeast. He's looking northeast-ish from that position, from Krakow. And we can zoom out a little bit to see where that is relative to Krakow. And it's in the outskirts. It's in the northwest corner of Krakow. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that is. That's about, uh, let's see how far out we are from the center. Two miles from the center. Not very far at all. And just looking in a northeasterly direction. So the plane, if it is a plane, is going to be somewhere around here. All right. That took forever. Okay, uh, now, of course, the next thing is to figure out what time it is. He says it is 526 local time, and that's crack our time. So let's see what that actually means. Okay, we can actually type it into Google, um, 526 p.m. Krakow time in UTC. And it tells you that it's 4.26 p.m. UTC. So crack out time is UTC time plus one. So we just need to subtract one hour. Now, because it's spring, we've got to check to see if there is some kind of summertime, uh, daylight savings time thing going on. So let's check these type of things. Crack out Central European time, UTC plus one. And uh, let's do Daylight Savings Poland. Begins on March 29th, so it hasn't started yet, so that's good. So we're, we're in the same time uh, time zone difference now as uh, we were back on March the 5th. So this is 5 p.m. local time, so that's 426 UTC. Now the UTC time is the time we need to put into Flight Radar 24, so we can uh, go back in time and uh, see what planes were there. So let's do that. I am going to, let's see, where are we now? Oh, we're over Poland. Let's find Krakow, let's find Poland. Here's Poland. Uh, I believe this is always Krakow right here. Let's zoom in. And we know we're just somewhere over here. You don't need to be too exact, really. The exact location I did there was just mostly for finding uh, what direction we're looking in, which is in the northwest direction. So we're looking over here. So we're over here, and we're looking kind of over here. <coughs> I'm going to do filters, 20,000 feet. It's a good filter for planes that are probably uh, making contrails. But in this case, I'm not sure if that's good. So I'm just going to reduce it down to... Uh, 10,000 feet. So we just don't get planes that are landing at the airport. All right. Now let's do a replay and do it March the 5th, 2020 at uh, 4.26 p.m. UTC. So 4.25. 
and start playback and wait for my planes to appear. Oh, there's one. Thump. No, it's 426. And there's one plane. <laughs> Just one plane uh, flying over in that direction. So it's you know, quite likely it's going to be this one. Oh, and uh, it's a nice white plane with uh, blue on one side and there's whiteness on the other side. Can't see the underneath of the wings, but they do look a bit darker than the rest of the plane. But uh, something you can do is take the registration of the plane, ERECD, and you can do a Google image search. So you go to images.google.com and do a search. And you can see what this plane looks like. It's got kind of grayish wings by the looks of it. Yeah, gray wings, white fuselage, and of course the sun will be coming down from above. So the bottom of the wings will be in shadow and you'll be seeing the bits of the fuselage, which are brightly lit. And it might even look like a kind of an odd shape because you've got this blueness uh, at one end and uh, you got a little flash, flash of color on the tail there, which you might occasionally see in the video but it's so re low resolution it kind of gets lost in all the just the the noise i'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see the broader picture and i think that was it 426 there was one plane right there in exactly the right spot and that would have been the plane so there you go the ufo was in fact this plane uh air moldova flight 834 from London to Chisinau, whatever that is. What is that? Kiv, Chisinau. Small, small thing. Oh yeah, it's going to Moldova. Wow, interesting. Anyway, problem solved, and hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what you need to do to uh, solve this type of thing. Uh, remember, there's three things that you need. You need to know where the video was taken. You need to know when the video was taken. And you need to know, uh, preferably, the direction in which the camera is pointing uh, so you can see where to look on the map. If you don't know the direction, you can just look in a big circle around uh, around the area. And that often gives results. Uh, but in this case, you know, there was only one plane and it, and it was exactly the right position at uh, 426 UTC, 5, uh, 526 uh, Poland time. So there it is. It was this plane passing over Krakow.